Yeah, it feels like we've been gone for a long time. Yeah. Well, first off, congratulations <coughs> on the uh, Jack Adams uh, nominee here. I mean, what are the meaning for you or this team, um, you know, to have a, a nomination like that? What does it mean for the overall scope of things that come along here? Well, it's, I mean, first, I mean, it's a real indicator of the good work that our players have done. It's, uh, you know, it's a nice recognition of the hard work of the entire staff. Um, but, you know, maybe more importantly, you know, I believe it's it's an indicator of the progress and, you know, how, you know, as an organization, the steps that we've taken through this, you know, through the regular season. And that's really positive. Steve, how did you find out that you were finalists? Uh, they, I, I got a phone call and let me know just a little bit before the, the announcement yesterday. How much better are you a coach from year one to year two, let alone from Toronto, from Philadelphia? Oh, you learn everywhere you go and just, you know, you continue to apply your own principles and, um, you know, I, I'm just a believer in you to stay true to who you are and you try to add to that and you try to grow, evolve, develop. Um, you know, I've been very fortunate every place that I've been, whether uh, as a head coach or, or as an assistant, I've had, you know, some great people to work with and you learn from everybody that you work with. That's, that's uh, you know, you learn so much from the people that are around you um, at a lot of different levels. So. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, continue, uh, continue working hard every day and just, you know, you try to add to, to the things that you do well. Forgive me if you've been over this a million times in Seattle, but over, over two years, yeah. right, you had to take a collection of guys and mm -hmm. make them a team, right, and install a system from scratch. Mm -hmm. And I think Allison was just saying, like, all your team building stuff was canceled the first yeah. year because of COVID, didn't have a yeah. Christmas party. Like, that's a, like, what was the coaching challenge over two years to, to accomplish that, right, to get to where you are right now? Well, every process is a little bit different. You know, obviously, you know, ours as, a, as an expansion franchise last year was a group of new guys coming together and figuring out how to learn, learn and how to work together. You know, and, and uh, you know, you come in with a plan. Um, you, you know, I found that, you know, we had to be probably a little more nimble and, you know, uh, willing to, to evolve uh, and change things as, as you figure out personnel. No matter what you see on paper and how much you think you know about people uh, and players, you really don't until you start working together and you see what, what it looks like on the ice. So, you know, I, I believe we've, you know, we've worked hard to evolve and continue to, to try to find the things that best suit our, our group. And, you know, as you look at, you know, from year one to year two, um, our roster changed. Our roster really improved, right? And that's so now we, you know, we've been able to, we've had the luxury to, of being able to try to apply that uh, while still having some of the foundation and, and very important foundation from year one. And I've talked at length and will continue to talk about the leadership group that's been here from day one, um, adding to that group over the summer and, you know, how much of a driving factor and driving force they are inside of our dressing room. Dave, would you like to give a shout-out to your assistant coaches? I just, uh, that's the first thing that I did. Um, those guys are the most important, you know, the, the entire staff, um, you know, the workings in behind the scenes, the hard work that goes in. Um, those guys are, you know, they're, everybody is tremendous uh, in their role, and everybody does extra. Um, and you ask, you know, to a man, you ask the players, um, you know, they'll, they'll tell you the importance uh, of, uh, of everybody on the staff. What's McCann's status and just how great is it to see him in a red jersey? Yeah, number one, good to see him in, you know, in the jersey out there with others today. He skated a couple of times uh, on his own uh, previously. So, you know, we'll just, we'll just keep progressing. I don't really have an update other than the fact that he's on the ice and he's able to be out there uh, with, uh, you know, with the optional skate today, which is a really good, you know, step for him. Um, we'll just, you know, continue progressing. Nothing imminent uh, in terms of return. Is there any possibility he could play tomorrow night, or are you ruling him out? Yeah, I don't believe tomorrow night is a possibility. Okay. But uh, um, like I said, we'll take it one step at a time. It's you know, it's uh, he's going to jump back in at a very high level. Uh, so first things first, we're going to make sure you know his health is where it needs to be, and then he's got to be ready to, to get into the lineup. And like I said, uh, it's a step by step process. Day with him being out, uh, Ty Karchi, and what stood out to you so far with him uh, through five games? With Karts? Yeah. Uh, just his uh, his readiness to uh, to jump in and and play. Now, you know he's got to continue to raise that level. Uh, the stakes continue to get higher and higher. Um, you know, but he's he's handled himself very well off the ice, on the ice, um, 
you know, he's he's shown even though he's a young man, he's shown to be a good pro, uh, and and he can he can play with detail, and you know that's you know that's uh, that's a real important uh, area, especially at this time of year, especially as we're in a situation where our opponent raised their level in game two. Now we have to be able to match that and raise our level um, without changing who we are. Uh, it's going to be important, you know, for for all guys, and you know, he's one of the young guys that uh, that has the opportunity to help us do that. Dave, you kind of mentioned it there, but there's been a couple guys who've tried to jump back into games with injuries <coughs> across the league here in the playoffs and haven't been able to make it through and go to, to have Jared back to 100 percent ready. How, how key is that for you guys and throwing him back out there to know that he's ready to go with the level you need him at? Yeah, well, you know, we want we have to do what's what's best for for a player individually. And it has to be right for our team as well. And that's, you know, we've talked about that with all of our decisions throughout the year. The two things have to match up. Um, so, I mean, we won't, I mean, we're not going to rush anything. I mean, when, well, when, when Jared or any other player is ready to come back uh, and help us, uh, then he'll, he'll be back in the lineup and not until then. You talked about the schedule the team has been on. Did it actually feel good to maybe have this take a breath moment with the two days here? Yeah, it, I believe it's important for us. I mean, we've we've played a lot of hockey. Um, you know, um, I, I credit Dallas with raising the level, and and uh, their intensity was uh, you know was a factor, you know, a major factor in uh, in game number two. Um, we weren't able to match that. We I saw a little bit of fatigue in our guys, and that's why we went optional again today. That gives uh, you know gives everybody the ability to recover. To the you know to, to what suits them best over two days, and we get back at it tomorrow. Um, you know I think that you know that energy should be back, and you know now it's upon you know each of us individually and collectively to to be able to raise that level um, and uh, and you know and bring that in game three. Yesterday you said Jared was continuing with protocol. Can we clarify that that's concussion protocol? Uh, I I don't ever uh, no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna confirm or you know any injury we've we've never done that throughout the year so I'm not going to change that now he's continuing through his injury protocol and when he's ready to be back he'll be back does, does he have any actual tests he has to pass before or is it just yeah every player does every player no matter what injury they're coming off there's uh, there's a protocol that they go through with our medical staff and you know you see part of it right out out on the ice and there's a lot of things that go on in behind the scenes as well you, you took the options there. You're playing three and three. <laughs> <laughs> <Your status>. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs>